In this video, we're going to have a look at how we find the equation of a sine graph. Determine the equation of the graph below, y is equal to a sine x minus p. We know that the a is the amplitude of the graph, and that the p value determines the horizontal shift of the graph. So we know that this graph could potentially have had its amplitude changed, and it could have been shifted left or right horizontally. Okay, so the amplitude is often this most straightforward value to find because we know that the amplitude is given by the maximum y value on the graph subtract the minimum y value on the graph divided by 2. And if you haven't learned this formula, pause the video here and write that formula down that the amplitude is the maximum y value subtract the minimum y value divided by 2. And I'd like for you to pause the video and to try and see if you can find this equation on your own. Okay, so the amplitude, if we take a look at the maximum y value on this graph, it's positive 2. And if we take a look at the minimum y value on the graph, it is negative 2. So the amplitude will be 2, subtract negative 2, divided by 2. 2 subtract negative 2 is 2, add 2, which is 4 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we know that this graph will be y equals 2 sine of x. Now we need to figure out how the graph has been shifted. And sometimes the best way to do that is to think about where the standard sine graph would be. So if we were going to just draw the graph of 2 sine x, it would have its first point at the origin, 0, 0. It would have a point at 90 degrees and 1. 180 degrees and 0, 270 degrees and negative 2, sorry, that should have been 90 degrees and 2 up there, and then at 360 degrees and 0. So if we sketch that graph in, we can see that the given graph is 30 degrees right of where our original graph would have been. All the points have been moved 30 degrees to the right. So that means if we're moving to the right that our sign in the bracket will be negative and it will be the sine of x minus 30 degrees.